Hi everyone, this is Jody. Today we're going to be doing a two minute tutorial on how to create a tapered lampshade. We're going to be using the extensions um, from Fredo 6, Joint Push Pull, and Fredo Scale. We're going to start with creating a circle, something with a lot of sides on, this, on it. So we're going to go up to 60 and we're just going to draw a shape. We're not worried about dimensions at the moment. Um, we're going to push pull just to create the rim of the lampshade. And then with the modifier key, we're going to push pull again and then one more time. Group the whole thing. And then we're going to use the Fredo scale, or I'm sorry, the, yeah, the Fredo scale tool, the box tapering. When we come in, we're gonna select the handles on the corner and the top here. And we're going to use the modifier key so that it scales around the center and just draw it in just a little bit for whatever is appropriate for the shape of your lamp, lampshade. Uh, so there we've got a shape. We're going to go into the group, delete the unwanted surfaces in here all the way through. Select the whole surface. Joint push pull. We're going to use the thickener. Draw that in just a little bit. We're just creating a surface so that um, if you're rendering, um, then you've got a surface on the inside of the shade so you don't have any issues with um, visibility of anything. And we're going to do the same thing to these outside little rims. We're going to make them very small though. So we're going to zoom in and we're just going to push pull. Whoops, we want to select just that rim. Push pull that out just a little bit. And then select this rim. and push pull that out just a little bit. If you want to go in and clean up these extra lines, we can do that. Just take that line out, that line out, that line out, and that line out. And there you have it, a nice little tapered lampshade. Hope that was good for you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.